This is such an exciting day. We are off to register the little man. And it was like this perfect sunset, sea on one side, volcano on the other. I recently turned 30. Woo -hoo! 30, 30. This is so sweet. With a teeny oh. tiny little R on it. Ah, oh, for Rupert. Oh, sweetheart. Are we having a bath? We're having a bath. That was a lot of screaming just then, and then very quickly stopped. I think he's a, a water baby. He is a water baby. Uh, recap of the day. So we've been back, well, we've been back from paediatrician for a couple of hours we now. Have, yeah. And it was a worthwhile exercise just to sort of put our minds at ease. We just felt like there was something not quite right, or we just were struggling. It's our first child. He was struggling obviously after, hard. after feeding. Yeah. And obviously you get to learn their cries, and you get, you know, the hungry cries, the whiny cries. But he was clearly in pain. It was like a shriek. Yeah, she thinks he might have a little bit of acid in his tummy because he's yeah. not he's not sicky, he's not really, you know, throwing anything up, it's not sort of reflux, but um, probably just struggling a little bit with acid coming back up his esophagus after a feed. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was just, oh, bless you. Bless you. It was a very successful trip. It's just, yeah, he's all fine, and just unfortunately he's a little bit colicky and upset and cries a bit but it's just a phase hopefully he'll grow out of it in a few weeks i hope it's not he's not got my jeans my windy jeans well he definitely does speaking of jeans in a couple of videos we've mentioned that we were going to do a dna test and see sort of any medical things that can be picked up from there i was so surprised by the results and we've got our results back jamie megan take it away <laughs> So as we've mentioned in a few vlogs, um, we actually got our DNA tested. <gasps> yeah, it's so this cool. Is, this is really it's exciting. Really cool. Recently we got the uh, results back, so we obviously wanted to talk to you about that. Yes. So um, it's with a company called Circle DNA, um, and the whole process was really straightforward. It was so it? simple. And, and it just gets sent through the post as a really nice package. It does, indeed. It is super easy. Everything's in there. It's like a step-by-step -step process. You download an app, you take the swab, and then you package it all up and put it in the prepaid envelopes and it gets sent back to their headquarters. Yeah. They then sequence the DNA and then they run the report and then see what you might or may not have. Circle DNA is the world's most comprehensive DNA test. There's over 500 reports across 20 different categories and it's 99.9% .9 analytically accurate. So then we waited for a couple of weeks and we finally got the results yeah. back and I'm like shocked at some of them. Like yeah. it's really cool. We had a quick flick through because we were so excited. Um, we've obviously had little Rupert now, but we kind of wanted to do it to see if anything would show up for him. Any recessive genes that we exactly. carry, yeah. um, things like that. But we're going to show you on the screen what it looks like on the app. So the results come through on the app, um, and as you can see, you can basically scroll down and you can look at everything from your diet, sport and fitness, your ancestry composition, all the way down to sort of dementia and brain health. Um, and it also goes into more details about sort of physical traits, gender traits, it even looks at your success traits and music and dance. I mean, mm. music and dance would be really cool for us. Interesting to see yeah, what it is. I laughed out loud when I looked at our musicality. So let's just dive in and we'll share with you some of the uh, more interesting results. So first up, we are going to share our ancestry composition. So a lot of you already know that Jamie's half Dutch. So I came back as 99.17% European. Uh, and With a little bit of 0.83% South Asian. Woo -woo. Yeah. So that was cool. What about I you? I actually thought that I was going to have a little bit of Asian because my grandparents were born in Indonesia, and I felt like just for some reason that there was some Indonesian in me. Yeah. But there wasn't. So I am 95% European, only 95, and then just under 5% African. That is so, I, five percent is quite a lot. Yeah, I think that's really cool. That is. So it comes up with your dancing ability and your musical ability. I came back in the normal category. I'm just I've just got normal musical ability, yeah. which I can't complain too much about because I don't actually play musical instruments. I can only sing. You've got a good voice. 
There's a, you've never done any theory, so this is, I need to teach Megan some stuff. Not you, that I know much either. But you could be normal, or you could be gifted. I thought I was normal, I just said that, but actually, I'm gifted. He came back gifted. I was what gifted in that one. Another really cool category was the success traits category. Yeah. Um, and this is where Jamie was a little bit disappointed. I was disappointed. Why? Some of you might know, I'm quite mathsy, physics, Science mechanical engineering. Megan, I would say between the two of us, she's oh, amazing at English. English, anything words related. Exactly. Um, so when it came down to the mathematical skills, <sighs> it was between normal, excellent and gifted. I was just normal. I was excellent. I know. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Not okay. Maybe that does show that it's a lot about nurture and not just nature. You had the potential to be really good at maths. Maybe, yeah. But just chose a different route. I still got an A in maths. Okay. Come on, I'm not that bad. It wasn't an A star. But... <laughs> I'm just not as good as Jamie. <laughs> so the final area that we'll touch upon um, are sort of the cancers, dementia, looking at whether you carry sort of recessive genes that might, may or may not sort of affect you. I think this life. is, for me, this is the most important or uh, interesting as well, because yes. with DNA, I can see how more so how you can pick that up in the DNA. Yeah. There's obviously, with the algorithms, they can work out other stuff, but I feel as though it's quite clear cut with sort of things that might, medically, yeah. you might be more at risk of. And it was really interesting that you... Yeah. Well, we'll show you on the screen again, the screen recording, but in the cancer risk section, um, as you can see, it outlines all the different cancer risks. And thankfully, uh, I had no cancer causing mutations detected for the, um, the well, all of them which was really, really nice. But in the family planning section, as you can see on the screen now, I do carry a recessive gene of cystic fibrosis. Mm. So we look, I was negative for everything else, but I do carry that gene. Um, so we had a little look, and if one parent carries it and the other doesn't, then the chance of Rupert getting cystic fibrosis is really, really low. The chances yeah. are so small. And Megan got her results the day before me, so there was a yeah. day when we were like, oh, what does this mean? And Let's we hope Jamie waiting. doesn't carry it. Yeah, and Let's actually for me, I don't. Nope. Um, the oh. only thing that picked up on, uh, which was a moderate risk, was Alzheimer's disease. For Jamie. Um, for me, not for you. No. Nope. I don't think it runs in the family, Alzheimer's, mm. but it's just at a slightly higher risk. So if you are interested in doing it yourself, we've popped a code in the description and we've popped it on screen as well. well there was nothing too severe, no. not that severe at all. He's doing really well, he's putting on weight in the right percentile, carrying on how he was when he was born. Yeah. Which is good. Um, he's measuring long for his age. He is, yeah. You're going to be tall. Long. You're going to be tall like your daddy. Not as tall as me though, I hope. <gasps> I think you're going to be taller. You can't be taller than me. I think you're going to be taller. And she was great. She was good. If there are any parents in the area watching, she's based in Chiswick. Yeah, Chiswick she Medical was, Centre. Yeah, she was fabulous. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. Obviously in the UK we've got the NHS, where for when he was born. Oh, oh no, they got in your eye. Oh, silly mummy. Um, we didn't have to pay for anything. But with the NHS for this sort of thing, I think it could take ages, can't it? Six weeks or something to see yeah. a specialist. So we were just like, you know what, let's just pay it. Um, so, so we are back, he is fine. We just need to keep an eye on him. Then we're gonna go see her in another four months or something. Uh, when he's four months. When he's four months. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because he's now a month and a half. But he's hitting some two month milestones already at six oh, weeks. He, we got our first non-windy smile. Yeah. So he's um just yeah just he's showing wasn't there for long <laughs> no but he's grabbing lots with his hands and he's got dimples he's got and dimples yeah. yeah you've got some soap on your tummy ooh oh so all those noises I normally do help but I'm obviously filming yeah no you're <laughs> normally very good at helping we use um a vino baby for the bath. Which yeah. is really good because I had super sensitive skin as a baby and I got um, bad eczema. I still have quite sensitive skin now. So I was a little bit nervous that Rupert would inherit that and to be quite um, sensitive to bath, to hard water and soap and things. But Avino baby's been doing the trick. We're just going to finish up with the bath, get him clothes, get him warm. We're going to have some dinner. Yep. Yeah. Ready for you. Oh, 
Daddy's ready for you. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, wrap you up. There we go. Oh, look at him. He's so content in there. He looks a bit cross-eyed there. <laughs> go and get him warm. Come on, then. Let's get a baby massage. <laughs> So we play Baby Disney. We do. This is a little zip sleep suit from Mori. It is, and it's so good. Oh, it it's, and it's so soft. It goes right from the foot, just straight up, and... Ooh! <gasps> hey! You like this one, don't you? And he can't scratch his face with the little mitts. Uh, right, it's time for a story. Yeah. What book are we on this evening? This was a, a book that Rupert bought Daddy for his first Father's Day. Yeah, Daddy, because of you. It tells me all the reasons why he thinks I'm a good Daddy. I can do big things, you encourage me. Sometimes I'm a little scared, but I believe you when you smile at me and say, I know you can. I will say that lots. You can do whatever you want and whatever you put your mind to. Things sometimes sometimes get lost or forgotten. I guess you're a little forgetful, Daddy. But don't worry, I'll try and help you remember. Oh, thank you. This is such an exciting day. We are off to register the little man. Rupert's about to become a proper human being. <laughs> a registered one. We are done. Oh. Oh. Spilt green tea everywhere. Not green tea, peppermint tea. We are done. He's registered. Had to double check all the spellings. We did, yeah. Everything else all sorted. You actually need to register your name. <laughs> We've yes. realised we still haven't done that. I haven't got around to changing my name officially to Cooper Colvin. Down this way, hopefully. I mean, it's, it's just such an effort to do. I just haven't got around to doing it. Oh, oh sweetheart. Oh, dear. So if you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen that I recently turned 30. Woohoo! 30, 30. Woohoo! Um, so I thought I would show you a few of the gifts the wonderful, very thoughtful gifts that I received because they are so sweet and I think, well I hope, they'll provide a lot of inspiration for you if you've got a friend or a family member who's celebrating a big birthday. Um, so the first thing is my necklace, which I love. I've actually had so many questions about this necklace. Can't see, oh, let's sorry. have a little look. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'll show some B-roll. So it's a um, beautiful gold necklace from Rings with Grace. That's the company. You, some of you may have already heard about um, Rings with Grace. You know Grace. Grace was our bridesmaid. We'll she pop her on the screen. Fantastic jewelry company, and um, where she specialises in engagement rings and wedding bands. But she also makes these necklaces. A little um, M for Megan. So M for Megan, R for Rupert, J for Jamie. It's so, so thoughtful. So she can do them in like a yellow slash rose gold and also a white gold. Um, so I'll, again, I'll put all of the details in the description. So if you're thinking of buying someone a special piece of jewelry like this with some their letters and the letters of their name, um, then head to Rings with Grace because she can sort it out for you. And then in a similar vein, my sister, my brother-in-law and my niece um, bought me this lovely silver bracelet. How gorgeous is that? So that's actually from a company called Aurum and Grey. So it comes in this lovely, lovely box. And then inside, it comes inside a nice little velvet pouch as well. Um, so I think that's a super thoughtful gift. I got loads of clothes from Jamie from Bowdoin, like winter this jumpers, winter jumpers and things. I got some boots. Let me quickly go and grab them because I love them. Here they are. I wanted some funky winter boots that mm. I can wear with jeans and go for walks in. So I got these from Bowdoin. Oh, here comes Rupert with super gran. Grand Gran's here at the moment. There she is. Hey. Super gran. Here we are. Here we are. 
And then, it. I'm looking forward. And then two final things that I wanted to share is a piece of artwork. And again, you may have seen on Instagram, my pink bike from Jamie. Mm, it's so cool. It's so cool. So we wanted to get a family bike that we could attach a baby seat onto. So we have road bikes that we use for our triathlons and things. Drive. Cycling around Richmond Park. Cycling around Richmond Park, but they won't take a baby seat. Um, so Jamie decided to get me a pink bike with a basket so I can take Rupert on little, you know, bike trips along the river in Richmond. I'll be using it as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'll show you that. Cut to me riding the bike. Jamie, I said I really would love a piece of artwork that I can keep forever and ever and ever. Um, ideally, something to help us remember our amazing honeymoon in Hawaii. So, Jamie contacted um, a company. You'll have to explain this a little bit better. He's just having a little freak out, so Megan's uh, looking after him. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Um, so, yeah, let me just explain. So, Megan asked for some artwork. Um, and we thought we would get somewhere that meant a lot to us. Something. Some. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. somewhere. Somewhere, a picture of somewhere that really meant a lot to us. So when we were in Hawaii, when we went around the back of Road to Hana in Maui, um, there was just this moment where no other cars were there because it's kind of a bit treacherous, but we carried on oh, and, and it was like this perfect sunset, sea on one side, volcano on the other, and we were driving our Jeep down the road with the drone following us. I'll put a little link. Yeah, insert the clip. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll put the clip in. So from the drone shots and some of the other clips that we've got from the GoPro, I sent a load of pictures to this company called Paint Your Life. I'll put that on the screen as well. And they kind of mash it all together. Hey! They mash all the images together and then uh, they get someone to paint it so you can choose like watercolour, oil. We went for oil in the end and it arrived a couple of days ago. Let's have a look. We'll get it out and have a look. So here it is. It's so cool. Um, I love it. I love the splash of colour. So yeah, we've got a bit well. of colour in there. So I think they've done a really, really good job. Yeah. We obviously are going to get it framed. Um, so we're going to head to... Head to the Framers tomorrow, I think. We're going to head to Twickenham Framers, yeah. Yeah. Um, they've done a few other things for us. Yeah, they framed a piece of art that we got from oh, our wedding. Yeah, yeah really Hollywood. nice. We'll just put a little clip of that as well, because that's really nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll get that framed, and that will go up in the lounge, hopefully. Yes! Not really too sure where. It's quite large. Yeah. So we need, obviously, enough wall space. Yeah. But we can take it when we grow into a bigger house. Mm. We can take it with us. But that's what I used to go for my 30th. Yep. Jamie spoiled me rotten. Honestly, I got lots and lots of different clothes and... Yeah, and one thing that we're advice. looking forward to is that my parents and my <laughs> old man old pair gave us money towards... <laughs> hey! hey. Uh, gave us, gave Megan, money towards a weekend away. So we're going to... I think we mentioned actually last week or the week before. Yeah. That we want to try and find somewhere, possibly in the Cotswolds. We did find somewhere that looked quite nice, yeah. but we're still open to suggestions. <laughs> Currently looking at the Fish Hotel in the Cotswolds. Fish Hotel. Ooh. Where we can go and uh, we have like a little hut in the woods. There's like a, well, a hot tub. tub. But yeah, we're trying to find somewhere maybe with it's a swimming pool. Just an option. Just an option. We're not um, sure. We haven't committed to it. But we will yet. be taking you, obviously, along with us when we do that. It's probably going to be in January time. Yeah, end of Jan. I think we want to bring in the new year with a little weekend away at the end of Jan. And then yeah. we're going, going skiing in February. <gasps> How old is he going to be? Five months? Five and a half months. Five and a half months, so that'll be fun. And He'll be skiing by then, right? He better be. <laughs> Snowboarding. Ooh, what's he going to be? Snowboarder, skier? Skier. I'm both so. Oh, I'm both. Oh, oh, I'm Jamie and I can do both. I only ski because you ski. It's so much easier for us to both ski. Most people can't do both. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a little bit of an update of Megan's birthday, even though that was a Couple few weeks, few weeks ago. ago. Um, we are now back in London and... Grand Grand's come to stay. Just getting on with life. She has, yeah, she's helping out a lot. My mum is just amazing. She's so, so, so good with Rupert yeah. and... 
Oh, she just cooks for us, cleans for us, looks after Rupert 24 7, does, does all the nappies. Yeah, it's good to have that help. She's super grand. Right, so my job now is to get this little man to sleep for an hour. Yeah. And then we can start bath time. Um, but I think that's it from us this week. It is. We hopefully will get a few more songs. Last week you loved the song, which we also did as well. It was quite an emotional one to make. And the comments in there about people remembering their loved ones that have passed away. That's what it was for. It it's was really sweet. Exactly. It's good to have a good cry as well. So yeah. go back and, you know, have another listen to it. Oh, um, I've been crying all week. <laughs> We're hoping as well to get um, some of our songs up online onto Spotify. I've been like looking into it and actually it doesn't seem too hard. So fingers crossed we'll be able to get the music up. You have to pay extra licenses because they're covers, but we should have that. And um, we well, should be- I'll, Sorry to interrupt. I also want to say thank you to everyone who's um, messaged me or commented or given me advice on um, colic. <laughs> Do, like how to deal with a little grouchy baby because he's just going through a bit of a growth spurt and a bit oh. of a weird phase at the moment. Um, so thank you everyone for reaching out. We are, that's it. That's it from us. That's it. We'll say a quick goodbye. Yeah. So until Subscribe, the like the video, share it with friends, go and share the song um, with whoever dance. you need to. As a little extra thing, we're hopefully finding a little unit for me to put all my business stuff there because we're getting a lot more stock in, which is exciting. And hopefully we'll be able to put a little corner where we can just leave the piano set up. So, you know, a unit that's just big enough for that. So we can do lots more songs. Um, so we can go there in the evening and just record. Yeah. So anyway. Right, we've waffled on enough. We now. have. <gasps> Wrap up and see you next week.